Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got this Bon Time Healthy Nail Polish. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon, and this is a set of six. It is, um, they're 0.27 fluid ounces, so they're not huge, but that's okay. Um, it says that it's uh, designed with love from nature, low odor formula, completely non toxic non-toxic and eco-friendly it's a peel-off polish and that was my interest um, I know that I'm you know inspired by the peel-off base coats so I thought a peel-off polish let's try it but it says um, you're gonna pair uh, prepare your and apply a transparent base coat clean your nails to make sure there's no dirt and moisture or oil you're gonna apply your base coat first and then wait 60 seconds for your nail polish to dry or for the polish to dry and then apply the color coat. Wait 90 seconds for it to dry before applying the second coat. You can repeat the process up to the third coat if you want a darker coat. And then number three, apply transparent top coat and wait 90 seconds for it to dry. So I'm gonna break these out and we're gonna play today. Alrighty, I'm gonna show you me using this glossy as the base coat. I figured I'd go ahead and use it as the base coat since you know, this came in the system or the set. I just, you know, I want to be able to use all that they sent. So that's going to go down as the base coat and the top coat later. So here we go. We're going to get started. Now, I do have that poly gel on my thumb. Um, we're, we're testing it also. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with the very light pink. It's almost a dusty kind of pink. Not, not real dusty. Kind of a salmon-y, maybe a real light salmon. It's a very pretty color, and it would be great for so many occasions. I could see some gorgeous nail art on this color. It just lends itself to, you know, it being a good base for nail art. Hi, Woody. How you doing? I like it. And it is self-leveling very nicely. It was a little, you know brush stroke but it, it cleaned up really nice so the next one we have here is this black cherry <laughs> this one actually surprised me I think it's my favorite out of all of them which really surprises me I mean please this is normally not in my favorite colors category but for some reason this one's just gorgeous I guess maybe it's because fall's coming and it's really in a, a fall appropriate shade. Woody at it again, having to help me clean up. I'm getting a little messy. I'm excited to see how long I can wear these. And you guys know this is going to be a real test for me to actually wear something until I do start seeing some, you know, uh, wear on it before I pull it off. Um, but I, I want to see between washing hands and all of that. Now, I believe this one is called Black Magic. A black sparkle. I'm sorry, but it's the blue one. And it is really gorgeous. It does show up blue. I mean, it. I guess in certain lights it could look kind of black, but I'm seeing blue I'm, with some shimmer going on. I love it. Like I said, I think fall's coming, and that's one of the reasons why I'm really feeling these dark colors. But you guys know I wear all kinds of stuff just any time. Now, this baby sky blue is just so pretty. And I really do think all of these could be one-coaters. I mean, if you're a one-coat kind of person, you could totally, totally do that. And it's not like I'm going globby thick on them or anything. They're just really nice and opaque my first experience with peel off nail polish now this plum color is just really nice really really rich looking of course it's kind of that pinky purpley you know plummy licious woody busy today but when I swatch for you guys I really do want to keep it clean so there we go and these are not gel polishes these are regular polishes so um, I think I've probably waited the 90 seconds so I'm gonna go on in with that second coat I think this is called pale dogwood 
It's terrible. I can't remember the names. At least they have names. I do like that. You guys know I have an issue with polishes that are just numbered. It's like Sister Chick told me one time. She said that it's like calling your kids number one, number seven. I mean, that's just wrong. Give them names. They're your babies. Well, maybe they don't look at it like a snail junkie stick. I don't know. I do prefer names, though. The second coat was totally not needed on these, but we've talked about this before in other videos about I'm, I normally do two coats. Unless I'm doing some nail art directly over it. I mean, sometimes I might use one coat of white before doing some nail art, but I'm a two coat person. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we go with that gorgeous blue. I do love this one, but I'm, I'm convinced that my favorite one is that black cherry one. I, I just, it's kind of like a really dark brick red. Look at that shimmer. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, and I've made a mess again. Thank you, Woody. <clears throat> this baby blue. I just could see stamping some clouds over it or a rainbow or, you know, some white fluffy clouds or I uh, just, I don't know. You know how my mind thinks. It's just always thinking about what we're going to put on it. Oh, and I don't know if I've mentioned these, but these are self-leveling really nicely. You guys know that's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like a streaky, brush strokey polish. So, there you have that. And I don't know if I mentioned how much these are. I got them off of Amazon. And let me look at my cheat sheet. These were $14.98 <clears throat> for the six-piece set. And I get free shipping on Amazon. I don't know if these are free shipping to everyone. But um, I, I get free shipping, I guess, because I'm Prime or something. I don't know. But I'm using that Glossy as a top coat. Now, I will tell you, right after I filmed this, <clears throat> I bumped the baby blue one and put a gash in it, so I had to repaint it. It did not make me happy. So, I did, after I did this glossy top coat and let it dry down some, I ended up putting some of the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat over top of all of them because I was not playing. I'm not going to play that. I want my stuff to dry down so I can go to bed or go you know, fix a drink or whatever. I don't want to be tied down with wet nails. I don't, now that I have quick dry magic, I don't want, I don't want to deal with that no more. And so when I realized that that, that was not dry after 90 seconds or even actually it's probably more like 15 minutes when I bumped it and I was like, what? So I had to go back and redo that one. I was not happy. You ladies know what I'm talking about. You get all, you put all that work into it, and then, you know, do something silly or stupid or whatever, and big old gash in it. And this wasn't one I could tap, tap, tap out with some acetone and fix. It was, it was a chunk. So, if you do use these, I would recommend a fast dry, quick dry top coat like Sesh or Posh. Or the Pro FX or Girl on the Run or something like that because you need something that's going to dry down through those layers. So there we go. These are the polishes that I got from Bontine. Well, I got them off of Amazon, but it's Bontine. Healthy, peelable, you know, breathable uh, nail polishes. So. I will leave a link for these, this little set, down below in the description box. And if you'd like to go check them out, uh, you know, I have the link there for you if you want to. And that is it for today. Um, I will try to throw in an update, you know, on maybe how long I wore these, um, either at the end of this video or in the description box or in a future video. <laughs> I just never know how I'm going to do it. So, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.